Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video contains things that I tinker with throughout the day. For step-by-step -step detailed instructions of those tasks, you can click on the link in the comment section below. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. This video also has tips and tricks that I've learned over the years. So, thank you very much for watching. Here is Red Baron kicking off the morning. I think we're going to start off putting the grill in and then checking to see what's going on in the interior. Probably wire the, the, the uh, pot lights in and then uh, change the oil. Put the timing belt covers on. Here is the grill all painted up. Andrew got that thing looking like new. Got to find a screw to fit that hole right there. So we're going to look in our little screw holder parts crap here and there see if we can find a match get the grill and that are on there boy now it's time to pull the serpentine belt put the timing covers on put a new serpentine belt on because this belt don't fit it's causing squelching noise when we start the car with this 2.4 you can't put the cover on with the serpentine belt idler on so you take the idler off put the cover on force the idler on and put a bolt in with a washer in there move it out just a little bit or this cover is going to rub your belt too much when me and Dan did this we cut the cover if you don't want to cut the cover you got to put washers there so you got to glue the washers against the bracket and then bolt it in there it's tight fit and the belt just barely touches the cover so that's what that is the serpentine belt super tight fit you can see the locking hole is almost in a locked position down there that thing usually moves back about a couple degrees so my recommendation is get a longer belt maybe two millimeters longer you won't have a lot of tension on your belt like we do here. Next thing we're going to do is get the dipstick out. I couldn't pull it out. Things was in there so tight. So I wedged a breaker bar under it. Popped it out. So we're going to see the oil level with this dipstick was below the minimum mark. Just on a tip. I'm going to stick the other dipstick in there. See how that reads. And set my new level accordingly but I put five quarts in here uh, that you know warm up oil uh, flush oil so now I'm gonna put some uh, 1030 full synthetic mobile one it usually gets on a Saturday so here is the dipsticks of course the flat dipstick this shiny one is the actual engine dipstick that dot's full, that dot's low. As you can see on the old style dipstick, that's much different. Now when I check the level with this dipstick, it didn't go all the way in, but it was at like that point on the tip, which to me means when I installed this dipstick, it went to the low line. So this thing will actually be like this so low on here would be full on this dipstick let me dip that one more time so we can just confirm it uh, it's got the, I think I put the bolt in there no I didn't put the bolt in yet but as you can see no it's not really at the heck I don't see none of it on there so yeah we should probably should add a quart of oil and see where that thing comes but we want to check this from its full mark to the full mark all right let me add some oil see what happens here assuming that the dipstick tubes go in the same depth and I got them both pressed all the way in it appears that the dipsticks are the same length almost however the full line on this dipstick is a lot higher than the full line on that dipstick so we're going to mark this dipstick up here above that notch 
the full line on the old dipstick is almost at the low line on the proper dipstick. So we're gonna mark this way up here to be full. So full lines here, about the flat point length above that. We filed a mark on it a little bit above that with this old style dipstick that can attest to that 850 head uh, intake manifold. That's how high the oil level needs to be. So right now we're probably a quart and a half, two quarts low. We got Red Baron running again. The IPD boost gauge installed. Got some vacuum. Volt meter installed. Right about 14 volts. We're gonna let the oil circulate a little bit. Change the oil. And take this thing for a real ride finally. We have the oil and filter chains. We do have new spark plugs, so we're gonna drop those in before our maiden voyage. Take a lunch break, then come back, take it for a maiden voyage. These T5 engines after 2004 have longer spark plug threads. So they're not the same as normal turbo because the heads are longer. Look how long the threads are on that. So you don't wanna uh, get regular turbo plugs put on these cars. People do it, but that's not right. You want the spark to be in the right area in the combustion chamber. Get the right plugs for these T5 engines. Okay, party people, we are ready to rock and roll. I think we might lower this uh, tube back here so that it's not so high. You see my ride up here, it pressed the indentation on to the insulation on the hood don't know if it's pushing on the hood or not but we may lower that a little bit we're going to see if we can get the r uh, cover on it and uh we're about to go do a test drive and do a data log and all that good stuff after our brief lunch you're going to dial in the tune and things like that you don't want to do it with old plugs Get you some fresh plugs and uh, dial in your tune on that. Stage zero, people. The air box we're going to go with for now. Don't want nothing being sucked down in past the math and into the turbo. That would be a bad situation. There's Red Baron, folks, coming out the block for a maiden voyage. Coming now, uh, growling a little bit. Oh yeah, Red Baron boys. All right, we're gonna go for a spin in Red Baron. Cooking with grease with Red Baron boy. We didn't know we was going to, but we are. Cooking with grease. Is, 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 it, is it breathing like a dragon? Oh, breathing like a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> About to record some data. Let's get cracking, Andrew. What are you sitting here for, man? Yeah, boy. We're going to see what Red Baron can lay down. Some boost numbers and stuff. Alright, so we got Tuner Pro running. A little jittery here, but the road's not that smooth. But we got Red Baron on the prowl here. Oh yeah, got a little bit of boost, but we got traffic, so can't kick it too hard. Red Baron, boy! Here comes the Red Baron, boys. this V70R we're going to make an adjustment to the catalyst and this thing should be good to go had a great day after tinkering with Red Baron taking it out on a couple of drives had to start a tune from VAS we didn't expect it to have boost more than 5 PSI obviously it did man that engine and turbo just roared I, I was expecting it to be, you know, 
somewhat aggressive in that turbo to spool fast, but who man, after driving Red Baron just for a few minutes, man, I almost felt like that car needed a name change. Call that thing Red Dragon. That thing was breathing and hissing and like spitting fire. It's crazy. I mean, crazy. So we, we shut that down for the day. I uh, went back over to deal with that V70R that was having the uh, catalyst uh, clog issues. We uh, put the cat back on there that was on the car when we got it. So um, the car is running fine for now. Got to figure out what's causing it to run rich and uh, making that thing clog the cat in the first place. Something causes the cat to get clogged either oil going down that downpipe into the cat or the car running extremely rich. At either rate, you know, that needs to be uh, diagnosed and dealt with. So, thanks for watching today. Hopefully we get some more uh, uh, clips and uh, videos of Red Baron and we get it tuned soon so that we can get that car dialed in and running properly. Thanks for watching. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.